So hey, let's talk Grinder. Grinder is a pity two perk deck that wants to be Sokol character pack. Unlike most perk decks that deal with either improving your armor, improving your dodge chance, Grinder takes the third option and focuses on regenerating your health. Whenever you damage an enemy, it doesn't have to be a kill. You get four health every third of a second, about 12 per second for 4.2 seconds times however many times you've done this. You can stack this infinitely, but you can only really trigger it once every one and a half seconds. And on top of that, you need to wear either the suit or the lightly ballistic vest, so that really limits your options on armor. Overall, it's a pretty neat perk deck, and it makes for some fast and furious grinding action. So let's build some grinder builds. The first grinder build we're grinding out is a pretty simple but pretty universal one. Our core skills are going to be Ace Fully Loaded, Lock and Load, and Body Expertise, as well as Basic Sneaky Bastard and Low Blow. We're also going to pick up Ace Professional and Basic Specialized Killing, then Ace Akimbo, Up You Go, and Swan Song. A lot of my skills will be based on hip firing, improving my stability, keeping my ammo count high, and keeping me from being on the ground. As for why I only grabbed Basic Specialized Killing, I'll get to that one in just a bit. As for my weapons, I'm using the Akimbo Heathers. I, I freaking love Akimbo SMGs, they're absolutely overkill. <laughs> I've modified them with a bigger and better suppressor, as well as some high concealment gadgets like the speed pole mag and unfolded stocks. With silencer skills, I've pushed the damage up to 47 damage per round, I've got nearly 100 rounds loaded right out of the gate, insane reload speeds, and it's pretty alright accuracy and stability. I could have replaced the Professional with Specialized Killing Ace, sure, but it's worth mentioning that with Ace Body Expertise, there's no significant damage breakpoint the 52.6 damage per bullet would hit. It's a breakpoint on Death Wish and 1 down, sure, but it's worth mentioning, I'm going to be shooting 2 bullets at once. And also, I don't usually play Death Wish. Also, I don't care. If you don't own the Spec Ops Pack with Speed Pull Mag, you just have a problem with the Kimbo's or whatever, you could probably replace the Akimbo skills with for stable shot and a specialized killing and run something like the AK-5 or the UAR or the Clarion or the AM car if you really want to. I went with the Heathers because it's just dumb. I'm shooting 750 rounds a minute per gun and that I've got two guns and that's half the lead the minigun fires. And it all fits up to five detection risk. As for my secondary in this build, I'm taking the 5.7 AP. You could pack pretty much almost anything. Bronco, Castigo, Judge, any of the other Magnum pistols. But I'm picking a 5.7 for its shield piercing capabilities. I don't really have any other way to deal with them. I mean, again, I could pack a Judge load with HE rounds or even Dragon's Breath, but uh... Shh. I'm packing Molotovs and the Kunai with me and I'm running the two-piece suit. You could run the lightweight ballistic test, but it cuts our dodge chance and I'd rather have the chance to take no damage than have a negligible amount of armor. And that's a lot of skills to invest in armor. So how does it work? Well, it works quite alright. The Heathers kind of just spray bullets all over the place and pretty much guarantee nothing in front of you or to the sides of you really <laughs> lives. When it comes to shields or snipers or some schmuck making pot shots from a million miles away, you just switch to the 5.7 and take the shot. It works on Mayhem with or without bots really handily, and even on Deathwish, it's not awful. You could do better there, though. I mean, the damage isn't very great, and the accuracy is a... Uh, the accuracy is something. But that's old news. We've seen a million grinder builds like this. So, I'll get ready for this one. This ain't your granddaddy's grinder build. You see, because of how grinder works, you just need to damage an enemy. It doesn't need to be a kill. So, it won't be a kill. We're rocking the world with a slow, controlled bird of incendiary buckshot. Here we go. Our core skills this time around are basic overkill and close by as well as easing shotgun CQB and impact. Getting that aced fully loaded again, grabbing aced dodge skills, no silencer skills this time. And ace and up you go in swan song. My primary, I'm using the breaker 12 gauge with some dragon's breath. I'm not too terribly keen on the thing normally, but its ability to take the horizontal leveler and stay below 25 detection risk really kind of shines here. You could saw down a Moscone, load it with Dragon's Breath. Sure, the firing speed will make up for having to reload every couple seconds, but it really doesn't matter, and at least I finally get use out of the biker character pack. My secondary could really be anything, um, but I went with the China Puff with the stock ripped off, because it does a lot of damage to crowds, and I could load it with incendiary grenades, but that just leaves too many enemies alive too long, and that becomes a problem. So with this build, it's all about igniting as many people as possible and keeping them on fire for as long as possible. I'm using the grenade launcher to take pot shots at larger groups of enemies and crowded choke points, and it works well for what it is. It isn't particularly fabulous, especially when you have to get back up off the ground. 
I didn't bother trying to bring this one to death wish. Update, I switched out the launcher for the judge and it actually works better and does death wish very well. Who would've thought? I mean, if you're good at second behind cover, this build's probably fine and the high damage makes up for the issues I had at the first build, but I was still dying a lot with this flame grinder build. Maybe it's because I typically don't use grinder. Maybe it's because I don't typically not have silencers in my guns. Maybe it's just because my heart's two sizes too small, I don't know, but this build's definitely more for fun than for glory. Again, judge works a lot better. I'm stupid. So uh, there you go. That's two different grinder builds. I hope this gave you some ideas as how to make the most out of grinder. At the very least, kind of gave you some fun ideas on how to pack this perk deck with stupid, ridiculous builds. If it did that much, then I've already done my job. Then see you around. Today's also the official launch by Patreon. Check that out, as well as social media links in the description.